In 2023, Romit Sharma got TAC AR1 and become the only person in history who got AR1 in their first attempt without coaching. In my case also, I was not associated with any coaching institute. So I did a Zoom call to know about his preparation strategy and daily routine. What he shared was something insane and I never heard of it before. And I'm sharing with you all. This podcast is divided into two sections. Section 1 focuses on daily routine, consistency and discipline. Section 2 focuses on complete preparation strategy for prelims, mains and interview. So that anyone who is starting their EAC preparations has the best chances of getting success in this exam. So EAC is actually one tough exam. UPSC is ranked among one of the hardest exams in India. So there must be days you might feel down. So on that days, like how you keep yourself motivated? Saurabh, so think like a machine. Keep all these emotions out of your life. Okay. Whether you are feeling dejected, whether you are sad, whether you are happy, whether you are angry. The only thing that you should be doing is study. The main thing is your timetable. And once you have created a very detailed timetable, the only thing that you should be focusing on is to follow it day and night. How was your day while you were preparing for ESA exam? Before I explain my schedule, it is very important that you and all the aspirants should know this. Never blindly follow anyone's timetable. Different mm. people have different capabilities. Do mm. not compare with any other person. I will tell you what is the basic schedule that I used to follow. The major focus of my timetable was on this sleeping schedule and my food schedule. So okay. regarding the food for the entire duration, my major focus ki home cooked food yo matlab prepared by the parents but now comes the sleep to sleep it is very important that i used to follow schedule from the 9:30 in the night to 3:30 in the morning i used to sleep and 3:30 mm-hmm. onwards my entire matlab study wagera ye sab cheeze uh, these things come into play so from 3:30 to let us say 8 or 9 i will be studying mechanical engineering a particular subject i will be studying one hour breakfast uske baad the next study schedule begins till lunch one hour breakfast uske baad third schedule begins now in between the schedules it is is very important ki you do not get burn out yeah you are getting uh, fatigue from the study so one thing that i used to diligently follow was doing workout gym wagera mm-hmm. i very uh, personally believe that to basically have a healthy mind you should have a healthy body so mm-hmm. i regularly uh, did this workout and i have a few hobbies also they say playing musical instruments or learning languages so i diligently follow it basically kept me consistent in following the study schedule now to get some rough idea only like uh, during your daily routine like how many hours you prepared for your epsc exam when the exams date was uh, very far so i usually put around 8 to 10 hours so that was the minimum i was putting as the exams were approaching so working hours suddenly increase uh, to uh, maybe 12 to 14 hours now engineering services exam every year many aspirants are writing and there are many aspirants like putting this diligent hard work if some people are getting the score means there must be some factor above beyond hard work also do you think any other factor also plays to be frank i must say you have asked a very well a deep question in a purely objective manner you put yeah, hard true. work you will get good result there is nothing more than that yaar if you are naming three attributes that will determine one success in upsc exam what that three will be that is a very i i find these type of questions very difficult because such attributes vary from one person to another person i feel only the a person should be disciplined enough matlab to follow the timetable to follow the routine but i mm. do not know of any other attributes that a person should have i only know one thing if you have the discipline you will do each and everything now let's move on to the section 2 preparation strategy and the first question that comes is first thing is like is coaching actually mandatory see rauram for any of these exams for whether you are preparing for engineering services civil services or gate coaching is not required you only required to focus on the standard reference textbooks as i have mentioned earlier mm. once you have mastered those textbooks like next you start following these previous year questions so this is mm. the basic crux of your preparation once you have mastered these things only then you need to rely upon a test series from any one coaching institute even okay. in my case also i was not associated with any coaching institute the only thing that i did was following a test series with a particular coaching institute ki whether uh, to gauge the level of my performance and to have a environment where i can compete with other aspirants and if you are able to reach to the interview stage then also uh, you require certain assistance of these coaching institutes where mm. you can engage with them for mock interview but if you are someone who is looking for a good quality coaching at affordable cost i would recommend gatewala as it is one of the most loved among students and the faculties are some of the best in the country and due to christmas and new year there is a limited time huge discount on all of their courses you can use code ragu500 for 500 rupees off and for gate aspirants for the first time pw has launched a real test series to experience the real 
detailed gate exam environment the test is on january 2025 and the registration for this ends on 2nd january do check it out batch details super 1500 gate 2025 batch 1500 gate test series 2025000 parakram gate 26 batch b 7200 sreshad gate 27 batch b 9400 parakram 26 esc plus gate plus psus 5999 sreshad esc plus gate 27 batch 19800 parakram gate 26 plus psu plus place my operation cs and it 5999 sreshad gate 27 plus psus plus face operation batch c 19800 now also experience infinite learning with batch infinity from pw offering gate kasana pvq books and more don't miss it out enroll now you can use code ragu 500 for 500 rupees off also during the preparation is there any time frame we need to keep in mind Ram, see there is no such hard and fast rule ki, uh, for let us say in a one year eight months you will be studying then for two months you will be doing revision and two months you will be doing the test series it is not a very hard and fast rule everything has to be uh, managed according to your capability you need to do these three things you have to master the concepts following the term, okay. previous year questions and the textbooks this is the one thing second mm -hmm. thing is the test series to gauge your performance and third mm -hmm. is the revision what is the time frame that you had followed uh, i gave the uh, 2023 esc prelims happened in uh, february so mm -hmm. around january 22 i started the preparation mm -hmm. See, uh, you are getting the picture. January 22, I started the preparation, and about November 22 itself, I was done with the syllabus. Mm, okay. From the done with the syllabus means I have completed all the textbooks, the reference textbooks, and the previous year questions. Okay. So November, we have December and January. One month I dedicated to the revision, and one month I dedicated entirely to the test series. In the test series, both the full length test series and the sectional test series. So this was the brief outline key how I did my preparation over the period of the entire year. Is one year sufficient for? Cracking this exam. Aurora more than enough, more than enough to get a very good score in the final examination. So during your prelim, since you had followed standard textbooks, generally the gate aspirants, what they do is like they make notes, they make short notes. So the time of revision, they actually refer to the short notes and then they give tests. So like, how did you do it? Do you also take main notes? Do you also take short notes? So what was your process on that? Aurora, if you think logically, na, before the prelims examination, it is very difficult to go through each and every standard textbook. I mean, mm. these books are so bulky, you cannot cover all these books in your one month of revision. So after you have gone through a particular book, let us say you are studying a particular mechanical subject, thermodynamics. So after you have completed the subject, it is very important to prepare maybe three to four pages short notes of everything that you have read. Mm. The short notes, when we talk about the short notes, it does not mean that you will be copy paste the entire what is written in the textbook. The short mm. notes main purpose is to give you an idea ki, uh, what you have studied. For example, if you have studied the first law of thermodynamics just write a few more words the first law of thermodynamics this is this second law of thermodynamics this is this this is basically the crux of the short notes you do not have to write each and everything in detail everything has to be written in the words the words that will help you recall what you have learned what i did was after each and every subject i used to prepare four or five pages short notes as i remember after uh, i completed all the subjects there were a total of 18 subjects in mechanical so i have a uh, uh, 60 to 70 pages uh, of uh, this short notes, notes. Uh, so i kept on revising these uh, notes before the prelims before the mains before the interview so this is a very helpful thing but okay and what is the time frame that you followed for your mains the mains happened in july so mm. february say july we have uh, in those four months basically you already know all the major concepts of your engineering discipline because you have studied the same thing in the prelims also the mm. only thing that you need to do in between the prelims and mains time period is revision and the test series you do not need to study anything more in fact in case of engineering services examination the syllabus for mains is less than the syllabus for the prelims. Okay. So that is also, you do not need to study the general studies, all those 10 subjects. So uh, that by the time you have finished your prelims, so you didn't spend any time for preparation. You directly started giving test series revision directly in that. Uh, immediately after the prelims, what I did was there was some time uh, for the declaration of the results of prelims. So in between the time period, I started revising because that is the only thing that I can do. Test series, they do not start immediately after the prelims. So I was continuously focusing upon my uh, this uh, revision and I was also going through the mains previous year questions also. Okay. So that also when I have covered that, revising my notes for the prelims and covering the mains previous year questions and once the test series came into the market, so I also bought them and solved them at the home itself. And then interview, how did you prepare for interview? Uh, after the mains, so you can take some amount of rest before starting for the interview preparation because by the time the mains is over, you already have a very solid technical grasp over your engineering subjects.
steps no additional preparation is required the only thing that you for the interview keep revising your engineering notes this is the mm-hmm. one major thing second thing before the interview there is a very detailed application form that is released by the commission itself you okay. have to fill that form and the major aspect regarding the form is you have to prepare each and every question each and every topic regarding the uh, regarding mentioned in the form what is the meaning of your name any famous personality with that name where is your hometown located any uh, important news associated with the uh, with your hometown so these are very trivial things but you have to cover everything in detail because in the interview the members they will ask each and everything from the whatever mentioned in the your application form only they will ask technical subjects but not go into much detail they will basically ask from the df itself the detailed application form and one more thing that you need to focus on is uh, preparing the current affairs see although this is an engineering exam but the interview is taken by the this upsc commission so most of the cases the commission chairperson would be the civil services officer so mm-hmm. a few current affair questions are bound to come and it is also okay. self explanatory you are preparing for a government exam you should be well adept in the what is happening in your immediate surroundings so in order to attend to these things what you can do is you can start following one national newspaper and one regional newspaper relating to your home state so this is mm-hmm. uh, this is just new thing that you need to engage in your engineering notes they are already pre- prepared you need to revise them second thing mm-hmm. is the current affairs you have to follow the newspaper regional and national newspaper and third is the detailed application form I everything found. that is mentioned in the form you have to prepare it what is why the particular service you have given first preference what does the let us say uh, military engineering services do so you need to have a, some little idea about the what you are doing what preferences are you feeling what is your hometown why it is famous so all these are very trivial things you need to prepare in detail okay sir you have uh, got all in the rank one but let's say if there is a time machine and you went back to 2022 and you are starting your preparation is there any thing that you change in your preparation or any mistakes you felt okay i did this but if i do it again i will correct it and i do it in a right way no <laughs> see raram that is a nice question but i will say ki i will study more diligently matlab even okay. what i have studied there is a scope to improve myself i could okay. have improved myself matlab more on all these subjects i have got a good score that is a separate thing but even then also there is a scope for improvement so i would have focused more i would have studied in a better manner i would have sought more test series more previous year questions so I studied more basically or to mm. there is nothing else to be done oh. Maybe I should not give up without a fight